Grimm's Fairy Tales, retold in one-syllable words by Jacob and Wilhelm Grimm. The Straw, the Coal, and the Bean In a small town there once lived an old dame. One day she had some beans to cook, so she built a fire on the hearth, and to make it burn fast, threw on some straw. As she poured the beans into the pot, one of them dropped on the floor and rolled near a straw. Soon a red-hot coal popped from the fire and fell near the bean and the straw. Then the straw spoke. "'Good friends,' said he. "'Where did you come from?' "'I had the good luck to jump out of the fire,' said the coal. "'If I had not done so, I should have been burnt to death.' Then the bean said, "'I had the luck to get off with the whole skin, too. If the old dame had put me in the pot, I should have been boiled to death with the rest of the beans.' "'And I, too,' cried the straw. My fate would have been quite as sad if I had not slipped from the old dame's hands. All my brothers went up in fire and smoke, sixty at one time. What shall we do now? asked the coal. I think, said the bean, that as we have all had the same good luck in saving our lives, we had best stick together as friends. And before we get into worse scrapes, take a trip to strange parts and see some of the world. This plan pleased the coal and the straw, and the three set out at once. They had not gone far when they came to a small stream, and they were at loss to know how they should cross it. At last the straw said, I will lay myself across the stream, and you can walk on me as if I were a bridge. So the straw stretched himself from one bank to the other. The coal, who had a good deal of fire in his nature, tripped out on the new bridge, but when he had got halfway, he was seized with fright stopped short and dared not take a step more the straw began to burn broke in two and fell in the stream and the coal slipped in after him the bean was so mean as to laugh at their bad luck and it laughed so hard that its sides burst now they would all have been done for alike if a tailor had not come that way he felt sorry for the bean so he sewed it up the bean thanked him but as he had used black thread to sew with from that day to this each bean has a black mark on it. End of the straw, the coal, and the bean. Recording by Sharon Handy.